We know that water seeps in the ground after rains. But we have different amount of rains all over India. Rajasthan gets hardly any rain, while Assam has rains nearly whole year. So naturally, different amount of water will infiltrate into ground at different places. The depth at which underground water is found is known as the water table. This water table can vary from region to region. From just at the depth of few meters in some regions like Assam to hundreds of meters at others like Rajasthan. Water extracted from below this water table is what we called ground water. That's awesome, isn't it? We have got huge amount of water right below us. However, this is not the end of the story. There is a twist in the tale. This water table is getting lower and lower and we have to dig our wells deeper and deeper to access this groundwater. But why is this happening? We already saw groundwater gets replenished in water cycle. Then what's the problem? The problem is that the rate of consumption is much higher than the rate of replenishment. Do you know that our population has more than doubled in just last 50 years? We now have over 7 billion people on this planet. Do you think the amount of water available to us has increased? Have you wondered where most of our water is consumed? Is it in our houses or factories or for agriculture? If this bottle represents the total water that we use, then this represents the amount used in our households for various activities like bathing, cooking and drinking. Only about 10% of the total water used by humans. To produce anything, be it clothes, paper or even electronics, large amount of water is required. Industries producing these goods in total consume about 20% of the total water we use. What do you think this remaining water is used for? This remaining water, about 70% of the total water used, is consumed in agriculture. Needed to grow food for a huge population of over 7 billion people. This water comes partially from rivers and lakes and partially from underground. Rivers and lakes though cannot be present everywhere but it is relatively easy to just dig up the ground and extract water, which puts greater burden on groundwater. Also, to accommodate this large population, we need large cities, leaving less area for water to see back into the ground. All these factors together lead to depletion of groundwater. The problem is worsened by the fact that water is not distributed evenly. Some regions get plenty of rainfall, and others are deserts. In a vast country like India, on one side we have Mausundram in Meghalaya, one of the wettest areas in the world. It receives an annual rainfall of about 12,000 mm. On the other side, we have Jaisalmer in Rajasthan, one of the driest regions receiving annual rainfall of only about 200 mm. All these factors together have led to a severe water crisis in many areas. The question now is, what can we as individuals, community and country do to ensure that everyone gets enough water to fulfill their needs? Before you answer this question, remember, all the water that will ever be is right now.